Looks like we've got a trade war. Donald Trump is officially slapping a 25% tariff on businesses that are importing goods from China. So if you're like me and you have a Amazon FBA business or maybe a dropshipping Shopify business, some sort of e-commerce online store, then you're probably wondering what are the Trump China tariffs and are they gonna kill my business? So let's find out. What's up guys? So as you probably know, I own and run an Amazon FBA business that will do around about $2 million this year and that's solely from imported goods from China, 100%. So to me, this is a really big deal. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about it today and just tell you some of the things that I've learned and what you can take away from this. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying these videos and you want to learn more about online business, about Amazon FBA from the perspective of a seven figure seller, then make sure to click the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell as well. So first of all, what exactly is a trade war and why do we need to know about it? Why is it causing us so much worry? So let's just break it down first with a few definitions. So a trade tariff, all that means is an import tax, okay? So that's just something uh, that's an extra duty or tax that needs to be paid when one country is importing goods from another country. So a trade war is where, first of all, one country decides, country A decides that it doesn't like country B and so it wants to apply this additional tax on top of all goods that are coming into country A from country B. So that happens and then country B sees that and they don't like that either so they decide that they're actually gonna increase their tariffs, their trade tariffs on all goods coming into country B from country A. And then country A doesn't like that even less. And so they start escalating both sides, increasing the trade taxes, the import taxes on the products that they're importing from the other country. And so you can see how that sort of escalates and get worse, uh, gets worse very quickly. So that is what is happening right now between the United States on one side and China on the other side. So that's what we call a trade war. And various shots have been fired this year, um, starting, you know, from, it's been going for the whole year. And now just this month in September, Trump has actually put into effect a 25% tariff on more than $200 billion worth of goods imported from China. And you can probably tell by my accent, but I'm not from the States and I don't really care about the politics behind this. Um, I'll, I'll leave that to you guys. But what I do care about is the impact that this will have on my Amazon business or on your Amazon business or in the industry as a whole. Because let's face it, goods being exported from China and then being imported into the United States, that is the single largest flow of consumer goods in the world. So it's a big deal. Now, let's talk about, first of all, what does this mean for you and I? Uh, what goods will be affected? What will this do to your business and your profit margins? And then what do we do next? Where do we go from here? So I'm gonna break that down in this video. Uh, and first of all, guys, by the way, if you do find these videos relevant that are keeping you up to date with sort of breaking news, stuff that's happening like in the industry as they're happening, um, then leave me a comment down below, hit the thumbs up button as well, just to let me know like what do you wanna see more of on this channel so that I can make content specifically for you guys. So, and keep this in mind, by the way, that this is a developing story, so facts may change, and I will keep you guys up to date if something else does change. But this is everything that I've learned uh, up to date, up till now. So first of all, let's look at this summary of some of the major categories of goods affected by the first wave of tariffs. Um, and just scrolling through this list, we're seeing like nuclear reactors, motors, aircraft engines, industrial heating equipment, cranes, platform parts, um, some agricultural equipment, machinery, machinery, parts, machinery. And we can keep scrolling through this list. And I'll provide the link to this in the description below. And so just looking at this on a high level, this does make sense. The main goal of what uh, Donald Trump is trying to do is he's trying to protect US high-tech industry, those, those innovative industries that he wants to keep and protect from basically having stuff taken offshore, especially to China. Uh, and so those increased tariffs are designed to keep the high tech industries that exist in the United States, to keep them competitive and keep, to keep them alive um, and, and well into the future as well. And so that is why when you see that list, most of those tariffs are in fact raw materials to be used by those industries or the finished products of those high tech industries. Um, and you can also see a lot of like high tech electrical components, things like that. So where does that put us into the mix? Basically the average private labeler or the average dropshipper, we're not going to be sourcing goods like those. Um, our average good or average product is gonna be in a different category. It's more like low tech. They're actually called everyday consumer goods. Um, and so just having a skim of that list before going really into exhaustive detail about this, it looks like most of us will be okay. Now, I found a couple of ways to look up whether your specific goods are going to be affected or not. The first way is go to the Harmonize Tariff Schedule website. And um, you can see this here and just type in your search query. Now, this website is kind of complicated and it will give you a lot of different results that you'll then have to go and look through and to find out 
you know, whether yours fits into it. And it can be quite hard to interpret. But once you have your HTS code, then you can go to this file, which I'll provide a link to in the description down below and look up the HTS subheading. And if you can find it in this big long list, then your product is affected. Uh, and it's worthwhile having a scroll through these as well, but you'll essentially see that most of them are what was provided in that list before. So if that was really hard to do, or if you got stuck finding your HTS code, um, don't worry, you're not alone there. Ask your freight forwarder. Ask, uh, I use Flexport and MZ Transit or you know any of the companies that you use to get your goods from China into the United States. Just ask them and they should be able to tell you very quickly and easily whether your goods will be affected and whether they will fit into one of those subheadings. So again, hopefully if you are a private labeler or you're drop shipping or doing something like that, hopefully your goods aren't affected. Um, based on what I can tell, none of my goods are affected. So I'm, I'm happy for that. Um, but if you are affected, what can you do? What do you do next? What do you do going forwards from here? First of all, it's important to realize that if you are selling a product that is affected, chances are most of your competitors or potentially all of your competitors will also be affected by the exact same tariff increase. Um, the, the way things are, generally products will come from one particular region, you know, one dominant region. And so if everyone's sourcing it from the same country and that country is China, and then everybody gets hit with the same tax increase, what you should see happen is that everyone will just kind of increase their prices and the market will actually uh, restabilize at this new price point. So if that's the case, what will happen is that the consumer, the end person who's buying your product, uh, will, <laughs> will just end up having to pay more. So hopefully you can do that if you are affected, just increase your prices and you should see that your competition does as well. Um, your other option is to assess and look at your margins and potentially absorb some of the incremental costs, maybe all of your competition or they're sourcing from other countries. And so maybe you have to decrease your margins a little bit. Um, and the third option is to, depending on what the product is again, start looking outside of China. If you're being hit by these new tariffs and it's really eating into your margins and it's something that you can potentially source somewhere else, whether it's elsewhere in Asia, or if it's a more artisanal product, you know, there, it could be coming from, from India or from Europe or wherever, or from the States as well. Um, then start looking at alternative suppliers. So the way things are looking today, based on the current information, this probably won't affect your Amazon business or your dropshipping business. Uh, if something does change, I'll be the first to let you know on this channel. If you do wanna find out about these updates, then again, click that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me a comment down below telling me that you want these updates, uh, and I will let you know as soon as any changes come out. Um, know your HTS code, know what your products are, or where they fit into that list if they're there. And if you're still not sure how to do that, then do ask your freight forwarder. I'll provide links for all of the information that I've referenced in this video. They'll be in the product in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.